Well, another episode of Project Blue Book has arrived, and this one is about the Flatwoods Monster, a case in 1952 where a woman and her children and uh, other locals uh, uh, saw what they th thought was a UFO crashing in the woods, and they went and investigated, and then they thought they saw an alien with a bizarre head and red glowing eyes and all this sort of stuff, and uh, some other guys say they saw it too, and all that. Well, that's not exactly how the story goes in the show. Uh, it immediately deviates with this idea that a local militia formed to hunt down the creature, and when they didn't see anything at the crash site, uh, they decided to blame the mother of the kids uh, for spreading uh, uh, a lie and trying to cause a panic so the militia surrounds her house and uh, threatens to kill her. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you know, I, just because they're a bunch of stupid hicks and rednecks, you know, that's what they do. They just get the guns and start shooting and killing. That's what they do day in, day out. Yeah. So, that's the tack they took. Why? So, uh, Heineck and what's his name? I forget the, the Air Force captain that's his partner, and they show up, and of course, there's something mysterious going on. The men in black appear again, and uh, the, eventually, Heineck comes up with a reasonable explanation that yes, it was a meteor, and uh, the creature was merely a, a hootie owl <laughs> that they mistook for an alien creature because of the the psychology in the moment of uh, the crash and it's dark and the flames and everything and then you oh you see an owl in the dark and you're not quite sure what it was and then the imagination makes it much larger than it was uh this is one of the other explanations for the mothman phenomena is that it's an owl and stuff like that so he passes that off and that's Probably what he did originally, if he was even involved in looking into this case, I, I don't, I don't know, but that's how uh, they dealt with it here. But oh, there was other witnesses, and the kids apparently had radiation burns on their faces. So well, how do you explain that? And then uh, there was this woman who was well, everybody knew she was crazy, and she was in the asylum, but she knew stuff, and she hands a package to Heineck, and there's a photograph in it of this home object and uh, after he leaves she comes flying out of the window and splats on the uh, sidewalk and the steps to the asylum there uh, right in front of Heineck and uh, the Air Force guy and uh, oh there's a mysterious man in black in there as well oh boy well, so, oh, maybe the mysterious men in black aren't so good after all are they or are there two different uh, uh, men in black groups <laughs> working against each other. I don't know. The other great deviation, of, probably from the truth, I don't know. Does anybody know if Heineck's wife had a lesbian affair? <laughs> or I mean, I, we don't know that she's into it yet, but the, the spy, who appears to be a Russian spy at this point, so of course the Russians want to know what's going on with this UFO stuff and what are the what do the U.S. Uh, Americans know? So uh, she's uh, flirting with this uh, with Heineck's wife. Uh, even takes her to a gay bar, and uh, she she gets freaked out and leaves. And then the the, the spy woman is like, "Oh damn, I was too forward. <laughs> I should have should have waited a little while." <laughs> uh, but uh, so they, they, so they're going with that. And I suppose, oh, uh, she's going to get tired of Heineck disappearing all the time and running off to go chase aliens. And she's getting lonely, so... <laughs> so, I guess they'll throw a lesbian romance in there as well. Oh, boy. Uh, so, uh, this show is a little bit worse than the last one because, you know, it's attacking the, the populace there like that and depicting them as these... Uh, morons, they go after this woman just because they figure her story wasn't true. That, <laughs> they're not going to you know, drag her out of the house and shoot her. I mean, it, I, it is, so uh, th this was not a good episode. Uh, uh, it does refer to this event that the locals claim and they actually have uh, a, a monument to the creature <laughs> in the Flatwoods. So, you know, everyone's got their own little urban myth, I suppose, and uh, helps with tourism, but uh, that was probably about it. 
But uh, this thing where it's continuing the, the, the X-Files narrative of the Men in Black and Majestic 12. Oh, well, and Majestic 12, uh, well, at the end, they walk off to the some hangar somewhere, probably Hangar 18, uh, where a flying saucer is parked. Uh, well, it's under a tarp, but come on. You know what it is. So, of course, there is an alien invasion going on <laughs> or something alien. Uh, but uh, what does it all mean? Where does it go? Well, we probably will never know because Heineck is left thinking, damn, there was something going on, but they interfered and used me to cover up the nefarious goings-ons about uh, aliens and whatnot. So it's the Cosmic Watergate. Uh, so, or Stargate. Maybe that, oh, wait, that was already taken. <laughs> so, uh, so we're two episodes in, and I'm not sure... And I'm seeing enough here to justify uh, recommending the series for the long term. Um, I mean, I, I, I like these stories. It's like I like ghost stories and stuff like that. Is any of it true? Nah, there's only a handful of UFO stories like Betty and Barney Hill and the, uh, the, the Lumberjack story where the guy disappeared and all that stuff that gives me some amount of pause. The rest of it, I don't think so. But... It, it, they're all cool. Uh, well, not all of them. Some of them are kind of stupid. But so every now and then, it's just like uh, folklore and urban myths and stuff are cool. And so you can make something out of that. But so far, uh, it is mood and atmospherics. But uh, some, some good performances. Uh, the actors and the cast looks good. Uh, but um, I think it's looking more and more like they're just wasted. So I hope that's not the case. But this one, eh. Two out of five stars, I guess. It, it, yeah, it, if you got nothing better to do, check it out. But <laughs> we'll see what happens next week for Project Blue Book. Or I'll see it and tell you, and you can make up your mind then. Hey, thanks for watching and listening. Why not like and subscribe? And while you're here, check out that link description below. That'll take you to my many stores that have plenty of goodies for you.